This is Alita and I am here at AnthroCon. Today is Thursday, July 4th, 4th of July for us Americans. And it's already packed. Like, my friend Tori and I came in yesterday, we settled in. We thought we were coming here early to do our pre-registration. And the line was long and huge, but we finally made through, went by fast, got our badges, and here we are. Already people are here in fursuits and they look fantastic. I am super excited to see what this con has to offer because I've never been to AnthroCon. I've heard of it. I know that it's a thing, but I don't know what to expect. So here's to hoping this is going to be a great con and I'm, I'm just excited. I have no idea what, to, what I'm going to see, what to expect, but I'm going to give you guys a full report each day and that's it. I just I'm speechless like it is an entirely new environment for me and I am super excited to share it with you guys but yeah that's it for now I'm gonna get some food because I'm starving and that's it I'll see you guys in the next time No, the sign language for hitting is me doing this to you. Ah! Okay, so what should we talk about? We, we don't want to keep people too long because there's a lot of, oh, oh, the camera just went places. Well, I think one thing that we definitely need to mention is we are really glad to be back in the city of Pittsburgh. Mr. Ben Diskin, Haida. Or Haida himself. Can anybody hear me out there? <laughs> Any particular events that you know of that you might want to make sure? Sure. About? Oh yes. Okay. So I'm going to be doing a q and I'm going to be doing a mock auditions panel, and I believe one that's just ask me about me. I'm not sure. I have to check the schedule. It's in there somewhere, magically. Oh, you mean in the little pocket program that everybody got when they registered that yes. nobody ever looks at? That's the one. Oh, and it looks like this. Oh. So we just finished with the opening ceremonies and I am super excited. I can't wait to see if I can grab some of the special guests to do interviews later. Hopefully we can, you know, find them somewhere around the con. But in the meantime, we got an hour to kill until we go to the next panel, which is This Is Your First Furry Con, which I'm excited for. I have no idea what to expect at all and I'm hoping this panel will be very informational for me. Anyways, um, the Dealer's room is also going to be opening at noon, so we still have time to kill until then, but I'm super excited. We went up on this little balcony and saw, from an uh, aerial point of view, what um, with all the dealers and what they're setting up and everything, and it looks amazing. I already picked out a few dealers I want to um, go and see. But yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to show you guys what's there and what's interesting to see here, and hopefully we can get some interviews with some awesome guys here because there are some, some fantastic fur suits out here. I can't wait to show you guys. See ya. Hey guys, we're here with our first interview with the awesome Volt. I saw him walking around the con earlier. I'm like, I have to get an interview with him. So here we are. Hi. Hey. <laughs> How are you enjoying the con? Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. So I saw that your um, suit lights up. Yep. How and how did you come up with your character? 
Uh, well, I just really just came to me. Um, I kind of wanted, I just picked out the colors first. Okay. And then I decided, yeah, I kind of want to do a little bit more. I want to have LED lights in it. And it just progressed over the course of time of building and building. It just progressed more and more. <laughs> and well, this is the outcome that came about. And it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Now, here's the painful question. How much did it cost? <laughs> uh, well, it's hard to say because I actually made it myself. So. Okay. Combined, just material-wise, I would maybe put about a $600 price tag on it. Okay. Now, me knowing nothing, is that average? Is that expensive? Like, where on the price range would that be? I would say it's a little bit more on the average to expensive side, somewhere in between. Okay, so like mid-range. Right. Okay. Maybe because of electronics and stuff like that, yeah. that's what it kind of hikes it up a little bit. Awesome. Now, how long have you been a furry? Like, when did you really discover that was who you were? Sometime in 2014, actually. <laughs> Relatively recent. Yeah, yeah. I was actually looking for Halloween costume ideas. Okay. And I was browsing on the internet, and I came across a picture of my first ever image of a fursuit, and I'm like, I want one. <laughs> and it just snowballed from there. Wow. I mean, I get, like, I cosplay too. Obviously okay. not for Sonas, but it's just like I can understand how you see one thing and then it just snowballs and snowballs. Right, and that's right. fantastic how you just did all this yourself. I and it's it. beautiful. Like, that is some good handwork. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I'm not going to keep you from the con, right. but thank you so much for this interview not and no enjoy it. Absolutely. Definitely appreciate it. And, and I that's. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves too. Thanks. Hey guys, Anthrocon has been going on really, really well so far. So last we left off, we went to a panel about going to your first furry con, and KP, the director for PR director, actually came by and gave us some etiquette on interacting with furries, which was really educational because I didn't know anything. So I now know how to interact with a furry and everything. Now, next we did, we went around the dealer's room and we toured around, saw some awesome work, and got some awesome prints. And then afterwards, we went and visited the game room, which they had lots of awesome options. Most people were playing Smash. Not surprising. <laughs> um, and then we just saw other panels with video game trivia and writing panels, which is personal interest for me. Today, we're also gonna be looking at the parade, so keep tuned for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I hope you liked that footage for the parade. It was really awesome to see everyone, and Pittsburgh seemed to like it too. You saw tons of kids just ooing and aahing about everyone as they walked around. And then we went to the Instagram fur meetup, and we saw a bunch of awesome uh, fur suits there. Met a bunch of people, and they did a raffle that was just amazing with all the stuff that they had to give out. And then we went down for the night, because we had to get up early today for the last day. And we only went to one panel about fantasy writing specifically, you know, for my own interests. But that's it for us today for Anthrocon. It has been an amazing few days, and it's time to get back home. But it's five hours. God help me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I had a lot of fun being here, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.